Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we're doing a little bit of uh, POV driving in the 335. As you can tell, it is automatic. The only thing I could complain about the car is it is open downpipe. As you can tell, it's downshifting for me. Uh, and it's fairly, it's honestly not that loud. Uh, it's just really obnoxious drone. Look at these people, they're just in the middle of the road. I can't even pull up all the way. So my only complaint is that the open down pipes drone quite a bit. I actually really like how it sounds, uh, especially because you can hear the turbos very well. Uh, other than the drone, the only other issue is that it does vibrate quite a bit, but again, it's shooting the exhaust. But again, it's shooting the exhaust straight out, uh, straight underneath the car, so there's always gonna be some uh, rattle with that. I am picking up a couple of tools for my buddy. He's doing a wheel bearing, and then I have to uh, bring the exhaust back to my place. So we have to cut it so that I could fit it in the 335. Uh, check engine light. We got everything pretty much done with it. The only thing left is the fuel pump plausibility. Um, returns every once in a while and that's an mhd thing unfortunately so for anybody who's new to the channel this is my car um right now it runs uh, like 7 18 7 16 eighth mile uh, if you don't know eighth mile times that's like an 11 1 quarter mile time uh, on this setup exactly how you see it so it's 17 t turbos so it's got arm catless downpipes seven inch intercooler Walbro 450 fuel pump that's a drop in with the stock bucket so that we don't get a lot of fuel sloshing around we've got the n20 3.5 bar map sensor which means we can go over 21.9 psi right now the car is targeting about 21 it has 17 t turbos the 2021 revision from viv auto it's the tdo4 housing uh not the tdo3 so the car makes good power like i said it's around 21 psi which i believe is it's in the higher 500 horsepower range you can definitely feel it uh it's i haven't done a full quarter mile pass but this car its best trap in the eighth mile was 102 so to be able to go down half of the quarter mile at 102 miles an hour is pretty good pretty strong and healthy if you haven't seen any of my other videos this car did go through motor about 150 miles into me getting it uh, i bought it for 1100 bucks with blown turbos I replaced the turbos and about 150 miles later, the engine, I think it spun a rod bearing based on uh, all of its symptoms, unfortunately. So yeah, spun a rod bearing and uh, shortly thereafter, I put a 102,000 mile motor in it. This car has 164,000 miles. I'm gonna go grab my tools and then we'll get back to driving. Uh, I know it's a POV driving video, but I just wanted to show you guys what the car is all about. Got the tools I needed. here for now go uh, it's just a short 10 minute drive to my buddy alex's we're gonna go take care of that now yeah, we can get some uh the turbo spooling it's no single turbo but i think it sounds great up a bit oh it looks like we're at the uh 160 mark which means we can get on it a little bit but i still like to wait a little bit let the transmission warm up uh even more look we found a wild 335 it's on uh stock wheels looks like it's got an aftermarket exhaust that's eh, pretty nice actually i like the coupes a lot more Let's see if we can get a short pull in for you guys now that it's more or less warmed up. Yeah, it's pretty rowdy. 
we're on uh, not so amazing tires, so it does get uh, a little squirrely sometimes. Actually, one of my most viewed videos. No, the most viewed videos right here on this road. good it drives fairly well I think with an exhaust it would be pretty much perfect uh, you know the drivability is not bad whatsoever uh, so we're not on the highway so I can't and I, I'm not going on the highway because of that drone issue like I said it's not really pleasant anything over uh, 75 miles an hour is just insanely annoying uh, drone wise but I just want to give you guys a good feel what it's like especially with just upgraded twins a lot of people go all out don't make a lot of videos like this the only issue is that the brake uh, light comes on and then obviously the traction control it doesn't go into rear wheel like it usually does with a fault like this I think I can check through XHP but I haven't looked into it much. My last car used to do it towards the end, right before I uh, tore it down and then sold it. Uh, I was planning on going single turbo and that's, uh, uh, that deserves another two videos on itself, but I don't really want to get into it. I mean, that car, um, that car did the same thing and it ran fairly well. with anything uh, by freezing it on accident I just love hearing that so the setup on the car I have stock diverter valves open uh, charge pipe seven inch intercooler uh, stock outlet and then open inlets what that means is I only have screens on the turbos I don't have inlets so I don't have intakes my intakes are kind of like what the single turbo guys do with the screen, just both turbos. So it sounds really gnarly, especially with the open down pipes, you can hear the turbos. You can just hear them sing, and I love it. I love it. Uh, they're not, I mean, they're not huge twins. They're pretty big. They're definitely bigger than stock. Uh, the housing is significantly bigger on the intake side. Um, but overall, they're not, I mean, they're not ginormous turbos, so they don't have a lot of, um, so the drivability isn't really taken away from the car. A lot, I got a lot of messages, because I didn't put the car up for sale just as a feeler, um, and I got a lot of messages, hey, you know, drive good, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I didn't put the car together to be a, you know, race car. If I can go fast with the full interior car, then I've done something cool. Um, I'm not saying that there's anything against gutting your car, right? I've done it. I love it. It's a really cool, cool thing to be like, hey, instead of adding 100 horsepower, I could just take out a thousand pounds, you know? <laughs> and uh, and it does a lot more too. It's not just the 
power to weight ratio that shifts with your suspension, the way your suspension unloads changes, uh, your tire setup changes, the load on your, you know, uh, engine components, drivetrain components, everything like that uh, is reduced because instead of putting more power, you're actually putting the same amount and then, you know, messing with it. So I'm here. Thanks guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.